year ago, we started planning an epic road trip. Our friend Eric flies sailplanes, and he took on the challenge of flying all the way across the country in a series of consecutive flights. So, we're going along to help him as his crew and travel all the way across the U.S. in our RVs. We're joining Eric and his wife, Julie, on this adventure we call Soar America. We're meeting around Los Angeles at the beginning of May, so we begin our trip down the West Coast from Washington State on Friday. Now we've made it to Oregon on our way down the coast. In this episode, we'll visit Hood River and Multnomah Falls. Enjoy the journey as we travel together on our way to Soar America. decided to take a little run along their river walk. Tim had been here before but it was on a business trip and whenever he ran the river walk it was always after dark or before light in the mornings. So he's getting to see it in the daylight for the first time. This is the Hood River County History Museum.
Best way to put Tim in a good mood, take him out for a run. <laughs> This is at the Viento State Park, right off the interstate. So we have the interstate on one side of us. So a little bit of road noise. It was raining last night, so that helped drown out some of it. And on the other side, we have train tracks. So every now and then had the train whistle come through, the train noise. So this was a little cheaper state park, which is nice. several people told us that we should see and I'm not sure we're actually gonna get to do the hike or not we have been waiting in line to park so long that we've actually eaten lunch while we're sitting here it's been half an hour yeah, all right it's, it's been half an hour and we see the parking lot ahead it's just can we get a spot so we made it into Multnomah Falls. We can actually feel the spray of the water a little bit here. It's kind of neat. I looked at of things to do in Oregon had Multnomah Falls on it. it. It's one of those places that everybody says you should go. It was worth sitting 30 minutes in the car line. Wasn't bad at all. Yeah, I had been here before on a business trip and just been to the lower section. So it was it was nice to get into the upper sections and see more of it. There's a there's like a four mile loop. I think if we had more time, that would have been interesting to do. But it would have been a lot more a lot more up and pretty steep coming down it looks like so but this this was nice for a easy sunday afternoon yeah i would say it was busy but not crowded yeah not not too bad i think we got here late enough that it, it got a little better the parking lot is still packed and there are people trying to get in but it's not as bad yeah well and it it really wasn't that bad on the trail itself yeah i think people had cleared out you know, okay a little more i think it would have been busier a lot busier sooner so it's time to get back on the road and we are heading to Tillamook. Yep. All right. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to continue with us on this journey, subscribe to our channel to get notifications of our next video. And join us for our next episode where we visit Tillamook, Oregon.